our guys have in a club experience. And so I think what you can expect is you're going to see a lot of a lot of guys who are working incredibly hard to uh, to do well here, to get better. Um, and and, and uh, I think I'm just excited to kind of get to know them and get to learn their stories and what they can do. So I think that this is going to be an opportunity to really show with them. And I mean, most of them are very, they're going to be very motivated to do it. Again, I kind of take the parking back, and I don't want to make any comparison to, but it's just based on my experience about the guys who are playing in the G League, for example. But these are incredibly talented guys, right? I mean, I think that a lot of times people forgot about talent level um, in pro sports and how difficult it is to get to that, that upper echelon, that top level. Um, and in doing that, um, I'm hoping we can kind of shed light on how, how great these players are. Um, you know, we've got. I've seen there's footage of a new new guy who's a defensive tackle out of Wisconsin, and I know I know I completely butchered all his last name, but he does he does he did it. Have you seen the video of him doing the standing backflip? It's incredible. I can't either. That's why I don't want to disrespect him by completely blowing it. But it's an incredible backflip from standing backflip. He's got to be about 330, 330 pounds, and and that's just gives you the idea of the athleticism and the sheer talent that many of these players have, their ability to do things I think that is incredible. And so um, you know I think that I think you all are gonna be incredibly uh, surprised and impressed with the talent that we have uh, out there and the players that are out there. And and our goal is to be able to tell their stories. We want to be able to get out there and over the next few months talk about them, tell their stories so you get to know them as well. And I'm and I'm learning I'm doing that as well right now as well. I'm getting to know them as well. Any other questions out there? Yes, sir, in the back. No, no, two, you said two? Uh, Ten. Ten. Huh? No, no, no. So, so there are 10. There are 10 regular season games. So, so we'll, have, yeah, we'll have five home games in 10 weeks. So five home games, and we'll be starting February, go through. So yeah, no, 10 home games, and hopefully two more. We're hopefully we have two home, one home games. So we're playing here at home for playoffs, and then here for the championship. If the championship is here. And then your own final, what do you want to call it? Because uh, we, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have one, one league that you call it. It's your, your final game, the championship game. Yeah, I think they're still working the through that. And I think they're not, not yet, but I think they're working through that. And I think you know, part of that will be interesting to see what they're you know, Part of that may be bringing focusing on that. But they're okay. still working through that. that one. I just you know, I just want to call us champions at the end. Uh, yeah. All right. I know there's somebody had a hand. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Any oh, absolutely. Of course. You can't have, you can't have Texas football without Telegate. So you know, we want to definitely have tailgates. Um, I, I, mean, I love TDC Stadium. I, I, keep, I always miss the E when I say it. TDECU Stadium. Um, but it's a great facility. There's great space for tailgating. Um, you know, we're going to hopefully do some things to extend the fan experience where you know, potentially maybe having some post and pregame concerts, having some things with the, the kid zone for the, you know, and so doing those kind of things as well. So we're going to hopefully have something for everyone. My, my goal is to expand the fan experience from start to finish. So that you know we're looking at you know trying to a little more comprehensive transportation plan because you know you have a great time at the game and then you spend an hour in traffic and you're like you know all of a sudden all the good time you had at the game is lost and you're like I can't get out of this parking lot. So um, we're trying to work in those things as well so that you know my, my my ultimate goal for all of you is that is that you know, from, from the moment you leave the house to the moment you get back home, you know, great man. Well, luckily we have about 15 more minutes to ask some more questions, so I'm going to ask a few, and please, everyone, raise your hands if you want to ask some questions. 